Well, here she is doing this video for Dan, kind of. 62 W100. Got the big old PTO in front. Old school knife blade hubs still. Hmm. I'm curious. Not so sure those wheels are gonna hold very much longer. Well, anyways, I'll just kind of try to step back and give you a little view here. Got the small window. Period correct tail lights, not the longer ones. I don't know if this is normal or not, but I don't see this type of rear bumper setup on this year's sweat blinds very often. I don't know if it was taken off of a different one or something. Unfortunately, the driver's side door won't open right now, so I gotta do the good old fucking way. <clears throat> Every good truck's got a pair of vice grips for the window. Had a few animals in here. Lots of work, lots of cleaning. Yep, got the white gauges, push button start, got your PTO. Heater box underneath. She's got some issues, so she's pretty rough down through here. But, you can see the fucking cells are still there. at least that's what it had originally my memory serves me right I think he swapped it over to a 360 if anybody knows go ahead and let me know or tell me how I can figure it out for sure was gonna put a 413 wedge motor that he had in a motorhome that would have been cool there she is Love this thing. Talked him into buying it when I was younger. So, kind of makes sense that it would end up back in my hands. Not a fair trade by any means. I'd rather kept my dad a little bit longer. But, this is how we'll remember him. It says Mystery Machine. It's a mystery how this thing runs. I want to kind of back up, look from the other side here. It's pretty next on my list. I really want to drive this thing around and enjoy some of those good old memories.